Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to backup your Kindle library into your computer. And at the same moment, or at the same time, uh, remove the digital rights management protection from those books so that you could use them in any other type of ebook reader. So, requirements are that you must own the books. And also that you have a Kindle that is generation 11 or lower. And they were, they're older. One is a 6th gen and this one's an 11th gen. This was the one I got today from eBay. And you're going to go into your page and you're going to copy your serial number. I'm obviously going to blur this out, but that's where you get your serial number from and copy somewhere else. You're going to need that number for later. You're also going to need to come to GitHub to this particular address up here. And you're going to download the version 10.09 of the DEDRM tools. Okay. So you're going to go and download this file right here, the zip file. And you're going to copy into a folder in your computer. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to download this file. Download. All right. And then once it's downloaded, you're going to extract it into the whatever folder you want in there. Extract here. And inside that, you're going to find multiple zip files. This is the one for the decryption. This is the one to decrypt um, books from Kobo. If you don't own a Kobo, you don't really need this. You need is this one. So just remember where you extract it to. We're going to come back to that later. Then you're going to open Calibre. This is the latest version, 7.22. I have, you go to preferences, you go to plugins, and you go to low plugin from file. And you point it to the directory where you just decompress or unzipped the DRM tools. You click the actual plugin, you hit open, you hit yes, and restart Calibre. Calibre will restart. Now you, go, now you have that, that um, plugin installed. Then you're going to need two more. Go to preferences, plugins, get new plugin. And you're going to go over here in this corner here. You're going to type KFX, KFX, right? Since I already have it installed, that's why it's showing that. So it's KFX. And you're going to see two of them, input and output. You're going to click each one and you're going to hit install. Click this one and install and then reboot. Reboot, um, restart, and calibrate. Okay, so now you have three plugins installed in your computer. I mean, in Calibre. Now you're gonna do one more thing. You're gonna go to Tools and Menus. You're gonna click Main Toolbar, and you're gonna look for a. Um, you look for one that says From KFX. It's going to be on this side of the window, somewhere in here. You're going to click it, you're going to find it, you're going to click it, and you're going to click the move to the right. It's going to add it to the toolbar when you hit apply. So now you're going to see that icon in your toolbar. Now we're almost there. I forgot a small detail. Uh, remember the serial number that you copy from uh, Amazon's device or from your Kindle? I forgot to tell you what to do with it. Well, preferences, we go to plugins, we're going to find ourselves the uh, under file type, make it. we look for a DEDRM, customize plugin, and the first one says Kindle e-ink ebooks, you're going to click there, and you're going to add your serial number to this box, then you hit Add it, you hit close or save and hit OK, and you're good to go. I forgot about the serial number. All right, let's continue. You're going to need to install Kindle for PC, but you got to find this version 
0.4.0 and it's 70904 it's the version you need Google you'll find it it's not hard to find but if you get any newer than that it's not gonna work so this is the only version that is going to work and make sure that you don't update when you open it up okay so this is the version that you need okay and also you're going to need uh, you're going to need Kindle Previewer 3 this is to convert from KFX or to KFX actually um, and the version that I have is 3.88.0 I think it's the only the only the last one there is but just make sure that it's the same as mine 3.88.0 so Kindle for PC and Kindle Previewer in my case is Previewer 3 okay so those are three two different software and three different plugins plus Calibre once you have that installed that's great you could close this preview you don't need it. you just have it need to have it installed you don't need to to run it see wants to update oh thank you close when you open Kindle for PC you're gonna have to log into your Amazon account when you log into your Amazon account through Kindle for PC it's going to find all the books that you have in your library okay the same library that same books that you saw here content library 204 titles and that's exactly the same that is showing here 204 titles now if you have a Kindle that's that is um, once you once you're in, in this program you could just click here and say download since I don't have a Kindle that is newer than 12 gen for what I understand it once you if you only have a 12 gen Kindle you don't have the function or the feature to download to your PC I am not sure if it's gonna show the same thing here as far as I know you need it because otherwise this is not gonna show the download okay but we're not gonna sit here and download one by one by one it's gonna take me longer than just to click and click so you still gotta click it's just not by much so we're gonna create a collection create a collection name it uh, whatever you want this I'm gonna name it to process okay hit create and then here's when I'm gonna start clicking and you highlight all of them Fortunately, you can you can't just highlight you gotta click physically and if you have a thousand books then it's 1,000 clicks I only have 204 so it shouldn't be too much of a big deal so look at the clock right now it's 11 59 I'll be back when I'm done and I'm done all right so everything's clicked and you're gonna hit done so now it's gonna add all those books into that one um, collection and hit sync so that it re, re it syncs or processes okay so now kindle for pc in windows stores the books that you download into your documents and kindle my kindle content okay right now i have it empty it's only for the database that this thing creates so once you go here now you could go into the into the collection you could right click the collection and hit download this is going to start downloading every single book by just doing that one click and as you can see now the books are downloading what you see now is the folder which with the serial number of the book serial number i guess if you want to call it that or the ident number so we're just going to have to wait until 204 plus that shows up so 205 I'll be back when that's done and it's done we have 205 items which are 204 folders for books and one database okay now we could close um you know for PC and we'll close this and go back to caliber Calibre. So if you have everything set up correctly, all you need to do is 
move the AZW file from each folder into Calibre. Okay, so I'm going to do, so to make it easier to do 204 of them, you use the Windows search. Your wildcard dot AZW. And right here, it shows that I have 204 AZW items. Click one of them, control A, then click and drag and let go. I could close this now and I could just sit there and wait. If you see the actual book titles, that is a very good sign that the DRM process removal, it's working. If it's, something's not right, you will not see the titles. That's something I noticed. So you let it go until it's done and I'll be back. And once it's done, you can see a list of all the books with the authors and stuff like that. I mean, it pretty much worked. And you're going to see your cover. And they are all in KFX format, which means you could just send them to your Kindle. You know, it should work with no problem. Now, if you want to move them somewhere else to a Kobo or a pocketbook or a Nukes or whatever, you don't need to convert this into a EPUB file, which is the universal standard, pretty much. How do you do that? Well, some books convert easily, like this book, for example. If I right click, hit convert, convert individually. The input is KFX because that's the original that we have. And my output to my right is EPUB. I could either fill up all the information here or you could just first before you do that, you could check the metadata and search and update that metadata because it's kind of missing stuff. It's missing the comments. So you do that. It's missing the good, the good read some info number. And you might even find a better cover, something bigger than that. And apparently not. Oh, that's the better cover we got. So hit OK. So now it updated the, um, the serial numbers. It added the one for the good reads. Okay. And uh, just hit OK there. So now we have a little more information for the book. It's going to look nice. So right click, convert once again from KFX to EPUB. And you hit OK. And usually it doesn't take too long. Let's see how long it takes. I'll come back when it's done. Took 13 seconds. And then when, you when it's done, you're going to see you have your KFX and you have your EPUB. If you click the EPUB once and give it a few seconds, Calibre should load it. And you should be able to read the book on Calibre. If you could read it, it's good to go. All right. So that's one. But you may encounter other issues, other books like this one, for example. If you send it the way it is to your Kindle, okay, I'm assuming it'll work because I haven't sent it to my Kindle yet. So, um, you know what? Let me do it and make, let me confirm that off camera. I'll be back. Well, I confirmed that this particular book in my Amazon account, it says that it's incompatible with my Kindle. So I assume that this book is for, is meant for those, uh, the, the Kindle fires. I think with the with the Kindle app, because with the Kindle app it works, but with the Kindle e-ink it doesn't, and it's because it's a PDF. But you could still convert it into an EPUB, and to do that I'm going to show you how. You saw how easy it was to convert to EPUB on this particular file, but if you try to do the same thing with this incompatible file, I just go and do convert individually, KFX input EPUB. Output, hit OK. I try to do that. It'll take about a minute to fail. So I'll be back in a minute. And we're back and you can see it took 57 seconds and now I have an error saying it can't convert uh, the book. OK, you could double click or double click the error and you get more information about it. But nothing that we could really use except for this part. This book contains PDF content. 
And I'm assuming that's the reason why my Kindle won't read it. So what do we do then? That is why we moved this icon out here. You're going to select the book that's got issues, hit, hit it once and wait a few seconds. Usually it takes a few seconds the first time you do it, and then you're gonna hey sit select convert to PDF. So we convert to PDF first. This one this time is using that plugin's features to convert it. See how quick that was. Hit OK. Now we have a KFX and a PDF. You click the PDF, it should open in your PDF program, and you can see the book. See that? Nice. All right. And then we're going to convert it one more time. Uh, convert. And this time we're going to, the input is going to be the PDF and the output is going to be EPUB. Hit OK. And then see how quick that was? Three seconds. Now we have an EPUB. If you click the EPUB, Now it's formatted correctly. So we should have no problem sending this book to any other reader. And then that's it. Hope you found this uh, video helpful. Please subscribe and hit like and share the video and leave comments. You know. And thank you for staying. Thank you for watching.